It's been nearly two weeks since a devastating fire left one man dead and displaced over 400 residents, some of them staying at this emergency, emergency shelter here on the York University campus. We heard from Mayor John Tory just yesterday. It could be months and months before any of these tenants can go home. We're also learning from the landlord that very few of them had renter's insurance. Did you have insurance? No, because my plan was to stay at that building kind of short term. Um, I was saving up a down payment to buy a condo or something. Gavin Krauss moved into 235 Gosford Boulevard just recently and wasn't expecting to stay in his one bedroom apartment for long. But then a devastating fire put things in perspective for him. When it comes to insurance, it's always that you never think it's going to happen to you until it does. Do you regret not getting insurance looking back at it now? Yeah, I would I would for sure have gotten in place. Though not mandated by every landlord in the city, the Insurance Bureau of Canada advises all tenants to get renter's insurance in the event of unforeseen events like fires. That could mean um, replacement or repair of some of your items. And while you're not able to return, um, if you have to stay in a hotel or something, um, we have something called additional living expenses, and that would be covered during the time that you're not allowed back in the home. Would you say that most renters have renter's insurance? So from latest statistics that we have, um, about 50% of Ontarians actually do not have tenant insurance. So it is something that we definitely want to, you know, encourage um, renters to look into. Krauss, who has been working to organize tenants at the Gosford High Rise, says though some people have lucked out with their insurance providers, others haven't. Some people, instead of, I guess, getting just an immediate cash reimbursement for their clothing, they're we would try to say, look, we'll come in and help clean your clothing. And instead of kind of immediately putting them up in a hotel or something of that nature, they're like, well, can we clean your apartment? Can we make it habitable in some ways? With the reoccupation date still in the air, Gosford residents say they feel like they are in limbo. And those who do have insurance worry whether or not they'll have support in the long run. And though the landlord, Ronke Property Management, is allowing tenants to move out, some say they can't find affordable accommodations. So I did ask RMK, the landlord, uh, if any of their displaced tenants would be uh, able to take over or live in any of their buildings. They tell us, a spokesperson tells me that at this point they have no vacant units available. Just yesterday, Mayor John Tory did put out for uh, any landlords here in the city, particularly here in North York, to make their vacant uh, units available for any of the displaced tenants that may need one.